Welcome to Hypercoagulable States. In this video, we will be discussing the Factor V Leiden mutation. Over the next few minutes, we will discuss the following take-home points. Factor V is naturally inactivated by activated protein C. The Factor V Leiden mutation is activated protein C resistant. When compared to the general population, Factor V Leiden heterozygotes have three to six times increased risk of venous thromboembolism. To understand the pathophysiology of the Factor V Leiden mutation, let's discuss activated protein C resistance. Let's start the conversation with a simplified version of the coagulation cascade, starting with intrinsic pathway factor, factor 9A. Factor 9A acts in the presence of its cofactor, factor 8A and together they work to activate factor 10 to 10A. Factor 10 works with its cofactor, factor 5A, to activate factor 2 per thrombin to thrombin. Finally, thrombin activates fibrinogen to fibrin. Now, keep your eye on thrombin. Antithrombotic mechanisms are activated when thrombomodulin binds to thrombin. The thrombin thrombomodulin complex binds to protein C. This activates protein C to activated protein C. Activated protein C has a cofactor, protein S. Together, both protein C and S inhibit factors 5A and 8A. Under normal circumstances, this inhibits their ability to act as cofactors in the activation of both 10A and thrombin, respectively. However, patients with the activating factor V Leiden mutation are resistant to inactivation by activated protein C. Therefore, the action of factor 5A as a cofactor to 10A remains active. This constitutive activation of factor V leads to increased thrombosis risk. Let's discuss the clinical syndrome of the factor V Leiden mutation. Most patients with the factor V Leiden mutation are heterozygotes. When compared to the general population, heterozygotes have a three to six fold increased thrombosis risk. Overall, this risk is low, and for thrombosis to occur, a second risk factor is needed. The number of factor V Leiden heterozygotes who will experience venous thromboembolism during their lifetime is approximately 5%. Homozygotes, however, have an 80-fold increased risk. The clinical manifestations of factor V Leiden mutation include venous thromboembolism, primarily manifesting as deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. Patients may also experience cerebral vein thrombosis and mesenteric or portal vein thrombosis. In summary, factor V is naturally inactivated by activated protein C. The factor V Leiden mutation renders factor 5A resistant to activated protein C inactivation. When compared to the general population, factor V Leiden heterozygotes have three to six times increased venous thromboembolism risk. This ends the video on hypercoagulable states in which we have discussed the factor V Leiden mutation.